Okay, I am trying to talk to you right now because I don't even like you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. It is me, it is me, it is I. Welcome back to the channel. Are you subscribed? If you're not, please do subscribe, join the family. Let's 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 have a good time. That's what happens when we're here, right? We have a good time, we talk about the real things, we talk about you know life, mental health, fitness, personal development. Ha 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 ho he he. You already know what it is. You know what time it is. All 25,000 of you know what time it is. Thank you so much for getting us to 25,000 subscribers. It is huge. It is wild. We are looking to get to 50, if not 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So please share the video. Subscribe. Get your parents to subscribe if they've got Gmail accounts. Get your sisters, your brothers, even though you know that they're not going to watch. Just get Click, click on their phones just on their behalf. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to be talking to you guys today about health goals for 2022. Now, you guys know that I'm big on health and eating right and fitness. I'm not crazy big on fitness anymore since Uncle Omarion, Transformatron, Delta, Beta, Zeta, Kevin Zeta Jones. Like, honestly, since since uh Covivi happened my health has my fitness has suffered quite a lot but we're going to talk about that today we're going to talk about health goals we're going to talk about weight goals we're going to talk about all of it so if you are keen on watching this video if you want to make some notes if you want to uh share whatever it is you want to share in the comment section below if there's something that worked for you Put it in there and let's all talk about it, right? Let's all talk about it. So, so with my health goals, I've segmented things into two. I've segmented it to fitness and eating with the health part, right? Eating, lifestyle kind of things. So we're going to get into that first. The first thing that I do want to talk about is fitness. And I feel like I need to just share my opinions and what I've been going through in terms of fitness when it came to me and trying to get everything right, get my body right, you know? So 2020, 2021 was really, really hard on me in terms of my fitness. My fitness suffered quite a lot because of Omegatron, Megatron, Tri Triton, okay? All of that. It suffered quite a lot. And in 2020 was the year that I had been training, I had been going to gym for three years at least before 2020. And in 2020 was the year where I did not go to gym from March until December. So we were on lockdown at the end of March in South, Z in South Africa. We were on lockdown at the end of March and we were pretty much in and out of level one, two, three, four, five, right throughout the year. But I wasn't um, sure about COVID and what COVID is about and what it's bringing and how people are dying and all of this. And... Uh, we got a lot of cases of people actually getting sick from being going to the from going to the gym. I'm talking too fast. Uh, people being sick from going to the gym and all of that. And for that reason alone, I stopped going to the gym. I did some home workouts. If you do watch my content in 2020 after March, you will see that there's some vlogs where I am working out at home. And I was I'm I'm, I'm I was okay with it for a while. For me, fitness, I really feel like I perform at my optimum best when I am accountable and there's someone who holds me accountable. So for me, going to the gym in the three years prior to 2020, I had a trainer. So in all my sessions, I was with my trainer. I was with my trainer three times a week. Got it going three times a week, an hour full on each week, and then sometimes I would just pop in and go for a swim or pop in and do just a 30 minute spin cycle, whatever it may be. So 2020 happened, messed that up. Okay, 2021 came, had a little bit of knowledge about Omarocron and COVID and all of that, 
and uh, in 2021 I did go to the gym I went to the gym from around March to June and then Delta hit and when Delta hit it was just like what which one which one is this one there's now another one what's going on right so Delta then hit and then it became another issue and then I stayed away from the gym and I've been away from the gym since and now we're in Transformatron and still away from the gym but I feel much more comfortable going back now given the fact that uh, with uh, Transformatron it's a little bit better in terms of symptoms and all of that and I'm quite paranoid anyway with things like sanitizer and staying away from people and masking up and all of that so I'm quite comfortable going back to the gym this year have I been back to the gym yet no I haven't what week what's the date today 15th of January do I think I'm gonna go back to the gym this month I don't know I don't think so and here's the thing about that I'm trying to teach myself to be okay with my decisions, especially when it comes to health and fitness, because I am very, very hard on myself when it comes to this. Extremely hard on myself, more so on the food part and not so much the fitness part, because I know that it's the food that matters the most. The fitness comes secondary, but for me, it's the food that matters the most because I'm trying to keep my body at a certain weight. So, Food matters more than gym to me when it comes to that. Uh, but I do like to feel toned and I love to work out. As painful as it is, as hard as it is on the body, it's also really rewarding. You know, just how you feel when you come from gym is amazing. Like the first two weeks is hard. If you've been gym for if you've been away from gym for a while, the first two, three weeks is really, really hard on your body. It's literally a shock to your system. It's difficult. You can't get up the stairs, come down the stairs, you can't sit in your car seat, you can't sit on the couch, you struggle to get up, you can't sit on the toilet, you have to like grab onto things because it's painful. That's if you're really going in and you really, really, really like shocking your body, right? Uh, if you're just doing mampara business there in the gym, you might not feel that. But if you're really going in hard, the way you should be going in at the gym, cha, then you'll feel the pain. Um, so after that, you start to enjoy gym because your body acclimates, you get used to it, you don't get the pain anymore, and it's so enjoyable lifting like 120 kilograms doing like leg presses, 120 kilograms, you know, lifting and, uh, oh my gosh, leg day for me is my day, honey. I love leg day. Um, and so you miss those kinds of things. And gym really, really helps, especially for me, it helped me a lot because I would sleep better when I went to the gym. I would literally pass out. Pass out every day because my body is just like, whoo, chair. Mm -mm. So I never really used to struggle a lot with insomnia and all of that when I went to the gym Unless really I was just stressed out about something and all of that. There's different reasonings, right? But I never used to struggle a lot with insomnia and all of that. So for me, I was just like, okay, I got it. I got it. I can do it Now I haven't been back to the gym. It's the 15th of January as I record this. It's a Saturday and I do intend on going back to the gym. But one thing I've also taught myself is not to be hard on myself. I want to go to the gym when I'm ready to go to the gym. I don't want to be forced to go to the gym. I don't want my mind to force me to go to the gym. People can say, I can watch people snaps and this, there, at the gym, whatever. If I don't want to go to the gym, I'm not going to, I'm not even going to feel bad about it. Just like, okay, I need to go back to the gym too, but okay. But I know that something clicks in my body when it's time. When it's time for me to go to the gym, something clicks in my body and says, hey, let's go. And I wake up that morning and I call my trainer and I'm like, can you see me at two o'clock, three o'clock, whatever, see me, blah, blah, blah. He says, yes, and then I go in and I do my thing. And once I start, once I get past the first week, two weeks, I'm on a roll and I don't stop. So I'm not worried about that in particular. But what my fitness goals are for 2022, I do want to go into the gym three times a week. When I start, 
whenever that will be. I do want to go back into the gym three times a week and then maybe if I have a free weekend, so I'll typically do days like Monday, Tuesday and then Thursday, that's it. But then if I have a free weekend and I'm not doing anything, I really like to go in there and do a couple of laps in the pool. Like I'll do like 10 laps because the gym pools are huge, okay? I'll do like 10 laps, 15 laps, and then that's pretty much it. Then I'll come out. Um, so I'll see. Not too hard on myself, but I do want to go back to the gym definitely three times a week. Handle it. Get it. Be stronger. For me, it's all about toning. I love my body a lot more. I love what I see a lot more when my body is toned, when my thighs are toned, when my bum is toned. I really appreciate what I see a lot more. Um, so I will go back to the gym. If you are somebody who's also stuck in a position like, yo, how do I go back to the gym? Maybe you're just not ready to go back to the gym and that's fine. But if you feel like your personality is that one that's going to always say, yo, I don't know, then maybe just force yourself. Try and if you don't feel like it, don't go. But if you do feel like it, go. Capitalize on that moment and actually go. So for me, my health goals for fitness is definitely going back to the gym at least three times a week. I don't feel comfortable walking around here by myself, even though this is a relatively safe neighborhood. I just, I don't feel, I don't like being catcalled. I don't like people hooting as I'm walking past and they're driving past. I don't like people opening up their windows and saying things like, hey, good job, well done. I know I'm doing a good job, relax, you know? So for me, nah, I'd rather be in a space where we're all doing it and I'm in there and I'm going in hard for an hour three times a week. I'm quite comfortable. I don't want to do more than three times a week. I'm not looking to be a fitness trainer. I'm not looking to be a fitness influencer. I'm not looking to be any of that. I'm just looking to get my body moving. And that's all that matters for me. Moving on to food. Health, lifestyle, food. <laughs> okay. This is the part of the video where I disclose the fact that over... November and December, I gained weight. Over November, December 2021, I gained about four kilograms, three and a half, four kilograms in there. Um, and I got onto the scale last week. Let me see, chap. I need the calendar for this. I got onto the scale last week, I think on the Monday or Tuesday, third or the fourth, got onto the scale. That's when I saw that I was sitting at 72. My happy place is 66, 68. That's my happy place. 72, I'm not happy with. Did I realize that I was heavier? Absolutely. My body was showing me signs, honey, okay? The love handles, chat, this. What was going on here? Mm, it was a lot. You're sitting down, you're sitting like this, and you can feel like things are bulging up. Well, not anymore. Not so much anymore. But you could feel like things are bulging up in the back there, man. What's going on? Child, what's you You doing too much with that food? And for me, I immediately realized that it's not really food, it's alcohol because I'm quite particular with food. I saw a nutritionist and a di dietitian, she's a nutritionist and a dietitian, and uh, I saw her uh, about three four years ago when I lost that dramatic amount of weight. I was like at uh, uh, almost 90 kilograms and I, I came down to like 67, 68 and she was the one who taught me food. So I know very well, I've got control when it comes to food. I don't worry about, oh my God, it's definitely the food. I've switched, now I eat burgers now and pap now and pasta now and batum, lishi lishi le and all these, no. No, I know that in my case, it's definitely not the food, it's alcohol. So I had to make that establishment within myself first that, okay, what is it that's making me gain weight? And also, I um, also compromised quite a lot because I typically eat after 12. On any given day, it is one o'clock right now, I haven't eaten, I've been drinking water, green tea, uh, peppermint tea all day, all morning. And so I, I, I know that I eat after a certain time, but around November, December, this could also be attributed to the fact that I go out a lot with my partner and all of that. And I was getting excited, you know, when we'd be out, I'd drink wine, I'd have 
pasta. Just like, okay, I'm in my lab chair, I'm with my bow, okay. I'm just like, I was excited, okay. And so I would eat a lot earlier and all those kinds of things and eat bad foods certain times. But during the week, I would keep it very clean. I would still have my green smoothies and whatever. And it's probably one of the reasons why I didn't almost bit my tongue. It's probably one of the reasons why I did not gain as much weight. Four kilograms to me is nothing. This is something that I can get down. Within a month, it will be gone. But um, I, again, I'm trying to teach this thing, teach myself this thing to listen more to my body and be less critical of myself. So for me, to one of you guys reading the, watching this, reading this, to one of you guys watching this, you might think that, oh, come on, it's not even that big of a deal. I'm sitting here at 100 Ks and whatever, whatever, and body positivity people and all of that. And I hear your chat. I hear your chat. But for me personally, and I matter here most because I'm talking about my personal health goals, right? So for me personally, it matters. I am quite happy when I am at the, I mean, I am short. I am 158, okay? I'm 158, which I will do it in feet and all of that. But in meters, I'm 158, right? And that's short. So my happy place in terms of my weight is definitely 66 and 68. I feel more comfortable. I feel I'm carrying my body more efficiently. I don't get tired when I get up the stairs. I'm not lethargic. Um, but I also attribute the weight gain also to not barely any movement because I was in the house quite a lot. We were working from home quite a lot. So I hardly went into the office and all of that. The reason why I feel like it's movement and alcohol as opposed to food is because I stopped with the wine. Now, this is the decision that I have made when it comes to food alcohol. I've stopped drinking wine, ciders. I don't really drink ciders, to be honest, and you guys know this if you follow this channel. I don't really drink ciders. So I stopped drinking wine and ciders, and now I'm strictly on spirits and if I'm having a spirit and I'm dashing it I will have it with a sugar free tonic water that's how I roll now and I've been doing this for a week and then some about nine ten days and in those ten days from discovering that I've gained four kilograms so that was uh, uh, on the third or the fourth is the 15th today in those 10 days I've gone down 1.7 kilograms so I already see where the problem was I used to drink I, 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 I drank a lot of wine I kept wine in the house I do have wine now but all the bottles I have are bottles that I would typically drink if I'm celebrating something these are expensive bottles so I wouldn't just open them so what I am drinking now is just having a, a, a glass of gin Maybe on a weeknight, every other night, I'll have a glass of gin. Over the weekend, I'll be much kinder to myself and I'll have the, all the gin that I want. I don't typically, I'm not a reckless drinker. I don't drink to get drunk, guys. You know. If I get litty, it's once every, I don't know, okay? So I just drink and I enjoy mats. I just drink just to enjoy. And uh, so I can get away with having a glass or two. And then I'm good. And then I'll drink another one after three days or whatever. So I have gin in the house. Um, and I see that that's worked for me. Not only that, I've decided to... Do you know what, guys? Um, right? That's what I've decided on that I'm going to just... Minus the stuff that I know is not going to work for me. Uh, with carbs, I barely have carbs. My form of carbs is bread. And it's low GI bread a lot of the time. Uh, maybe a bit of oats. Mm, oats is not really a carb per se, but then maybe bulgur wheat or whatever. But I rarely ever have things like pastas and rice and whatever. I don't. I don't even remember the last time I cooked rice. So for me, I don't worry too much about things like carbs. I'll visit vegetables like potatoes and whatever. I do not eat them all the time. I'm more comfortable eating broccoli, carrots. Uh, whatever, all the others, cauliflower and whatever, I'm more comfortable eating that. So I'm not really worried about carbs. I haven't completely cut out carbs. 
Um, I just am very particular about what I eat during the week. I'm very particular about what I order out. If it's a Friday or a Saturday like today, I'm very particular about what I'll order out because I don't want to cook. So I'll order a salad from Kauai or I'll order a salad from Lupa, wherever. I like a salad from, I'll order um, anything, protein with, um, maybe I'll have a bougie bowl from Nando's. It's a healthier alternative, right? As opposed to, even though it's got rice, but how often do I eat rice? That kind of stuff. But during the week, I do not compromise. I do still, um, I am still intermittent fasting, so I do eat after 12. I do not eat earlier than that ever, okay? I'll eat after 12, sometimes I'll eat at two, sometimes I'll eat at three, sometimes I'll eat at one. So I'm quite particular about what I ingest. And because I already know and I've learned it over the years, it's very easy for me to know what it is to ingest. Um, so those are my health goals, just to be more cognizant and aware of what I'm ingesting, what I'm eating, uh, cutting out things that are very heavy in calories in terms of alcohol, uh, like wine, <laughs> white wine, cha. I told my sister, white wine, stay away, it's the devil, it's the devil. If you drink wine and you enjoy wine, maybe try red and try not a sweet red. Okay. have like a Merlot, have like a, just have something, but even with that, don't drink too much of it. Um, so that's all I can advise. There's certain fruits, vegetables that are good. If you're going to have, if you really like bananas, but you're planning on losing weight, don't eat bananas too much. Maybe have bananas twice a week. That's it. One banana each time, right? Um, so yeah, we did, um, uh, what are these things? Berries are really, really good if you want to lose weight, anything. Raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, really, really good. Great. They've got great antioxidants. So good. So good. Uh, I haven't really had a chat about all those things, but you can find these things online. There's PDF spreadsheets, blah, 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 of what's good, what works, and what doesn't. And all you need to do is just put your mind to it, Get a grip on it and go and hit the ground running. That's pretty much it from me in terms of my health goals. Uh, I know exactly what it is that I want to do in terms of fitness. I know exactly what I want to do in terms of food and losing the weight and getting back to my goal weight of anywhere between 66 and 68 kilograms. And I'm a happy chappy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to go now. I will see you in the next one. Until then, subscribe. Join the family, click that bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay?